Stuff was going down uh, yesterday right here at my house, and law enforcement was nowhere to be found. I guess they're a little busy right now. Uh, my friend Karen from Five Borough Power Yoga came in the morning and did some uh, a yoga class. Carla from the Near and Far Animal Foundation was here giving away free masks. Baba was here. Everyone was here. Um, but the, the star of the show oh, please. was Lou DeMassi. Don't get all, don't get all, you know, expectational, Frank. Uh, the star of the show was Lou DeMassi, okay? Um, the barber who showed up, local businessman, entrepreneur, and uh, I don't know, Frank, you got the first cut, but how many cuts do you think were given out yesterday? Oh, um, I, I mean, he was cutting the whole time that I was there and at a pretty good pace. I, I couldn't guess how many cuts uh, he was responsible for, but I will tell you this about Lou. And he's got a great shop in the Eltingville section of Staten Island called Continental, right next to a cigar shop. It's a terrific place. Um, he, I saw not only myself, but a lot of other people, in addition to the charitable contribution for the haircut, a lot of people trying to tip him uh, for their haircut. And he gave all the money that he made to charity. He didn't keep a dollar uh, for himself, not even uh, when people were trying to tip him extra. So uh, Lou certainly is a, a great uh, craftsman, as you can see from the incredible job he did with my hair, but he also seems like a great guy as well. All right. So um, let's take a look at what happened yesterday. No um, nobody thought we could pull it off. What do you mean, JT? You're going to set up a salon in your backyard? That sounds crazy. Who's going to come there? It was packed, safe, social distant, really smart. Um, but the first haircut went to the guy who needed it most. That's right. How do you feel about getting the first haircut? Uh, I feel great. I feel like I, uh, I've been in hibernation for 80 days. I, I feel like at least a portion of my scalp is alive again. And not, not anybody can cut this hair. It takes somebody with loose expertise and experience to be able to sift through this. Uh, most people need like a, 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 a chainsaw or a weed whacker to get through hair like this. Here that I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start using. That's actually a Brillo pad. How does that look? Is that, is that all right? Oh wow! I already... Any final remarks for the video? Um, I, I, now I know what it's like to be reborn. So, um, make sure you go visit Continental. Lou will take good care of you. He's got 45 years of experience. He's in Eltingville, and it's a pretty good cigar shop right next door. So you get a haircut and a cigar. It's a pretty good afternoon. Thank you. <laughs> there you have it. You can see the man is an artist. <laughs> no, quite the job. Um, you know, Frankie was there. He's a big celebrity host and um, producer of the AM 970 morning show, the Joe Piscopo show. Heard every Sunday on his own show, Morano in the morning at, from 3.30 to 8.00. He starts your day on Sundays. And uh, we also had Greg Pasella here yesterday, local businessman whose uh, company Hard Beverages um, is getting pretty big national recognition now. Um, Greg got a haircut. Mo so many people got haircuts. And by the way, Frank, while you were napping, okay, um, all morning, the, you, I know you were up this morning working hard from 5 in the morning, but then you dozed off there, which you probably needed. Um, I'm getting calls from everywhere. When's the next one? When can we do it? Um, and it looks like this Wednesday, for Woman Wednesday, oh we're going to reopen the Salon by the Sea. And I'm getting reached out to by a number of local business owners who are asking if they've set up a little table, like a pop-up shop. So um, the plan is for Women Wednesday, we're going to do shopping by the sea Ooh. and blowouts by the bay. Some women don't want another person cutting their hair, but they want a blowout or something else. So uh, we'll report more, but we're going to open it up again. We're going to find it. Baldrick is great. We're going to find another charity that needs some help. Um, and if people want to come out and get haircuts... Uh, any nail ladies out there, if you were at the Bay yesterday, you would have made a fortune because everyone wanted their nails done. Um, we got to take a quick break. We're going to come back uh, right after this. Um, and Frankie and I talk with Lauren Conlon. She's an entertainment reporter and host of the Red Carpet Rendezvous podcast right after this.